feeling like in the dressing room after that great result? Yeah, boys are really pleased. They're frustrated that they've conceded two goals, but they're delighted with the three points. It's all about the points now, and, and they're, they're really happy with the three points. An early setback, but the team came, came back and dealt with it well. Yeah, you have to deal with the setbacks. When you're bottom of the league, you have to deal with those setbacks, and uh, you have to be strong and uh, mentally, mentally strong and deal with it and, and move forward, which we did. It's easy for a side in our position to, to collapse at that point, but they didn't, did they? No, I think we've got sort of one or two boys that, that won't let that happen now. And uh, like you say, it is easy. It's, um, it's important that we keep trying to play our football. And, and all of our ga goals came from us playing our football. And um, yeah, we're pleased tonight. As I said, the first half progressed. It really came into our own. And those goals really boosted everyone going into half-time. Yeah, we scored two. We could have scored four or five in the first half. But... Um, we let them off the hook a little bit then to start the second half they, they were really good for 10, 15 minutes and we had to change sort of our shape and, and match them uh, with, a, with a back four and a diamond and, and once we did that we, we came onto a really good game. How important was that change in the second half and how did you see it going then? I just felt that they, they, were, they were getting the better of us in, mi in midfield and we, we needed to put more people in midfield um, <clears throat> which, which we did and it, it, it it gave us the platform to go on and score the extra goals. Dale Grubb's goal to, to put us in the lead for the first time this afternoon. What a strike that was. Yeah, decent finish from Dale, wasn't it? Great finish. He can be pleased with his, with his contribution today. And um, you know, We've got some goals in the team now, which, which is important. We're not, we're not just relying on Christian. And you can ask for anyone better when Christian did score that fourth third in that position. Yeah, sometimes you get those <coughs> gifts and... Um, if there's anyone you want there, it's, it's Christian, and I was never in any doubt he was gonna he was gonna slot that one in. Tab only joined yesterday, but already off the mark. You must be delighted with that. Great one. for the boy, isn't it? Great for him. I hope he has a really good night tonight and enjoys himself and feels really good about himself because he's chose to come to a League Two club uh, that are struggling to to put himself in the shop window for next year and fair play to him. And how important is it for a young striker like that to get off the mark? Yeah, so of course, <gasps> of course it is. He's, he's got electric pace. And obviously, with with Cambridge pushing to get a goal, we knew there'd be spacing behind him, and and that's why we put him on, and he he, he got his rewards with the goal. The wind doesn't lift us out of the bottom two, but you didn't say it would be an instant fix. This is something that there's plenty of games left to, to fix that one. No, but what the wind does, it, it and the results around us, it brings four or five other teams into play now. And and from last week, everyone's saying there was it's a three horse race. Now you're probably saying it's five or six, and that will change weekly. You can enjoy that glass of red wine tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Be nice, yeah. Great stuff. Thank, Thank you.